If you've watched any of my previous videos about image resolution, you'll know that I always tell you not to enlarge your digital art because the computer can throw away detail, but it doesn't know how to add detail to your image that is not there. Well, folks, all of that has gone out the window. Adobe's new Camera Raw Super Resolution feature uses artificial intelligence to enhance a low resolution image and make it four times larger while adding in detail that is not present in the image. It achieves this by being trained on millions of photos so that it can recognize specific image details and then enlarge them in a natural way. While there has been a lot of talk about how this changes things for photographers, this has huge implications for digital artists as well. For starters, many artists paint on a low resolution canvas because they're working on a slow computer and painting would be painfully slow otherwise. Now that super resolution has entered the scene, these artists can upscale their artwork to a larger size. Artists could even block in the bulk of the painting on a low resolution canvas, then enlarge the painting and continue to refine it with small brushes to avoid brush lag. Even more spectacular is how you can use super resolution to salvage unintentionally low resolution images and make them larger and sharper. There are tons of paintings I've created during live streams that were intentionally made low resolution to cut down on resources. Now I can upscale those paintings and offer them as prints. If I just blew your mind, smash that like button. Super resolution can also be a lifesaver for those times when you may have accidentally saved a smaller image over your original. I'll show you an example of this in just a bit. Even if you're already in the habit of starting with high resolution canvases, you can enlarge your work to insanely large prints. For example, I can turn this 20 megapixel image of Buddha into an 80 megapixel print. Just look at the detail that's been added to the face. It doesn't just multiply the pixels like a normal enlargement, it actually adds the detail that I would have added myself had I been able to start this painting on an 80 megapixel canvas, which would have caused the computer I had in 2009 to explode. Another way that super resolution can benefit digital artists is that it can enhance low quality reference photos. There are of course some limitations on how much a bad image can be improved, but as long as the image is reasonably sized, it should get at least a slight bump in sharpness and detail. Now let's take a more technical look at the results of super resolution. While this is a really amazing feature that works wonders, it's not without its flaws. For example, if I look closely at some of the edges in my ocean painting, I can see many of the jagged edges, which are a result of working on a small canvas, are more pronounced. Super resolution isn't doing anything wrong here. It's actually faithfully scaling up the detail that I added. But I just want to show you that this feature doesn't go as far as to change or clean up details in your artwork. It'll give you a larger version of what you put in, flaws and all. Even so, I can easily use a blender to soften some of those jagged edges, or make any sort of corrections that are necessary to compensate for the enlargement. If I load this line art drawing of a crow, which I intentionally downsized to 800 pixels tall, you can see that enlarging with super resolution makes it look very close to the original full-size drawing. Upon closer inspection, the enlarged version looks a little too crisp or over-sharpened, but you might not notice this in a print. Sure, it's not perfect, but you have to admit it's really astounding how much detail can be recovered. Anyone who ever accidentally saved a small image over their original is going to be happy about this. But it's not all sunshine and butterflies. As the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. If you're enlarging from a JPEG, the JPEG compression is going to be noticeable in the detail and color. There's not really much that can be done about compression that won't make things worse, but this is something that most people may not even notice. However, if you want your artwork to look really clean and professional, a lot of JPEG compression is a no-no. There's really kind of a trade-off happening here with JPEGs. The image does get enlarged nicely, but it also takes on a very processed look. It's far better than your average enlargement result, but just don't set your expectations too high for JPEGs. You'll want to avoid JPEGs if possible and just convert any non-compatible formats to TIFF instead. TIFF files scale up nicely without wrecking any of the detail or color from your original, and TIFF offers lossless compression options to make the file size smaller without harming the quality. Another downside to using super resolution is that you have to use a flattened image without any layers. I suppose if your artwork is finished, or you don't care to keep the layers, then there's no issue with flattening your work. However, if you're starting at a low resolution with the intention of enlarging later, just be aware that you'll have to sacrifice your layers in order to do that. Enlarged files also take up more space on your computer, so I'd only recommend enlarging artwork that needs to be enlarged. While we're on the topic of hardware, you'll get faster results from super resolution if you have a good GPU installed. It's still usable with less powerful GPUs as well, 
but you may have to wait minutes rather than seconds for the image to process. And the last downside to super resolution is that it means it's now pointless to save your work as a low resolution preview to prevent theft. If it's easy enough to enlarge your image, then what's the point? With content-aware fill able to remove watermarks, I don't know if there's anything that one can do to protect their artwork from theft at this point. Perhaps NFTs will replace prints and that will solve the problem, but that's a topic for another video. Given the current limitations of super resolution, I probably wouldn't go as far as to work exclusively on low resolution canvases from now on, because I think starting with a large canvas is still the best option if you want to preserve the maximum quality of your image. However, there are times when it could be an advantage to start small and then upscale, which I outlined in this video. I know there are many of you watching this who don't have Adobe Creative Cloud, but rest assured this method of image enlargement will probably become the standard at some point, and everyone will have access to it just like they do with the current interpolation method of enlargement. I'm excited to see this technology improve with larger and cleaner results and support for layers. What do you think of this new feature and how will you use it for your digital art? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.